Today we're going to be generating this certificate using PDF kit. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to place this name here and we're going to place this date here. So we're going to have this image here. This could also have been any image. So you could have drawn a way nicer certificate than me, uh, but you have the background image and then you're just using PDF kit to draw text on top of it. So the first thing we want to do here is that we want to import FS moment and of course PDF kit. The next thing we're doing here is that we're defining the layout for the PDF. So we're setting the layout to be like landscape and the size to be the same as an A4 paper. So essentially we're taking an A4 paper and putting it in landscape mode. This is the name we're going to be drawing on the PDF. So it's this name here. The next line here is that we are piping the PDF file. So once we end the PDF stream, this file will be piped into this PDF file. So the PDF will be named the same as the name and then .pdf. The next line here is that we are just drawing the image and we're drawing at zero, zero. So we're going to draw it at the corner. So this corner up here and then with a width of 842. And the way you get this specific number here is just by playing around. If you don't put this here, it will become very, very big. So the next thing here is that we're setting the font. Now you could have used the built-in font or you could have used any of your system fonts or you could have even installed custom fonts like me. I've just put my fonts in this folder. And if you download the project files, I will leave a link to this font. It is free, it's on Google Fonts, uh, but I will leave a link down below. So the next line is just drawing the name here. And uh, you can see the way I'm doing this is I'm doing doc. So I'm grabbing the document font size. So I'm setting the font size to 60 and then I'm drawing the name at 20 and then 265. And then I'm using an object here to define some options and I'm aligning it to the center. So if you've been playing around with PDF kit before and you don't include this property down here, you will know that 20 is definitely not as far in as it normally would be. But the, the reason why that changes is if you're using the center line property. That means that it will still have the same Y coordinate. So it will still offset the Y the same, but the X will be offset from the center. And the reason why we want to offset this from the center is because if the text becomes longer or shorter, we always want the text to be drawn from the center. Because if we use, let's say, this corner up here, then it would just become longer over here than here. So you want to, when you have this text here, which is, you know, the length is going to change, you want it to align it from the center. That 20 is just offsetting the center by 20. So the next line here is just pretty much the same as the last one here, but we're just drawing the date. And these coordinates are the one for that date. And if you have a different image, you will obviously have to figure out these coordinates. And the only way to do that is just by playing around. So get the text and just change the numbers until you find the perfect placement. And it's going to take a, a bit. And the last line here is just we're ending the stream and that will also save it out to the file here. But let's try running it with a different name. So you can see that we will actually generate another file. So we can just type Vincent. We don't have to include a last name. Run the application. Now you can see that this will generate a file named Vincent. And if I just open my file system here and drag this PDF up here, there we go. And you can see it's aligned from the center. And uh, you can see now my name is on this certificate. So I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.